Hello there you guys, welcome to one of my videos. On this video I'm going to be giving you my predictions for Manchester United's game against FC Sheriff at Old Trafford in the Europa League. So yep, yeah, I'm going to go for a Manchester United win and the score I'm going to go for 2-0 to Manchester United. And the goal scorers, I'm going to go with Marcus Rashford and Anthony. So that is your predictions. On another video, I will be giving you my predicted 11 for this game. This is Manchester United's fifth game of the group. So far, Man United have played four games in the group stage. Man United have won three out of four. Man United, of course, won away at FC Sheriff 2-0. Um, FC Sheriff are obviously from Moldova. They are top of their league. They recently lost 1-0. Their manager is Japan Tomas. Manchester United are coming into this game on the back of a 1-1 draw with Chelsea at Stamford Bridge. Obviously, Casemiro rescued a point for Manchester United because he scored a stoppage time header. It was Casemiro's first goal for the club and you could tell it meant a lot to him by his celebration. But Man United did deserve at least a point against Chelsea. Man United should have actually won the game. We was dominant in that game, especially in that first half. You know, we had several chances. Uh, Chelsea's goal came from a Jorginho penalty. Um, obviously, Chelsea got the penalty because Scott McTominay brought down Amanda Broja. Um, obviously, Varane picked up an injury against Chelsea. It was a thigh injury and Varane went off the pitch in tears. Uh, Varane's likely to miss the first World Cup match. So, obviously, with Varane missing now, uh, Lindelof will come in for him. Uh, now, you know the news regarding Cristiano Ronaldo. Uh, today, Cristiano Ronaldo arrived at Carrington for showdown talks with Eric Ten Hag regarding his Man United future. Uh, by the way, Ronaldo is back in training. Ronaldo has not played in Man United's last two games. He was dropped from the Man United squad for the Chelsea game. And obviously played no part in the 2-0 win against Tottenham. Uh, Ronaldo stormed down the tunnel before full time in Man United's 2-0 win against Tottenham. And after that, obviously, it said Eric Ten Hag would deal with Ronaldo. Uh, Ronaldo is open to return to Italy. Uh, Napoli is said to be interested. And Chelsea are interested in Ronaldo. Well, Man United are considering releasing Ronaldo on a free transfer. Uh, Ronaldo's contract at the club expires next year. There's an option of an additional year. Man United re-signed Ronaldo last year from Juventus, so he has been in his second spell at Man United. Uh... The last game Ronaldo played was the 0-0 draw with Newcastle and he had a controversial goal ruled out in that game. And Ronaldo scored his 700th club goal in the 2-1 win against Everton at Goodison Park. Um, on my last video, I gave you the news regarding Edwin van der Sar. Edwin van der Sar dismisses talks of becoming Manchester United's director of football. Um, Edwin van der Sar, you know, if he 
did come back, he would be reuniting with Man United because Edwin van der Sar is the former Man United goalkeeper. Uh, van der Sar, of course, was Man United's goalkeeper for six years. He came to the club in 2005. Man United got him from Fulham for two million. And obviously we had van der Sar until 2011. When he was the United goalkeeper, van der Sar won four Premier League titles and the Champions League. He was a very, very good goalkeeper. Now, obviously, Edwin van der Sar is the CEO at Ajax. He's been the CEO at Ajax since 2016. Um, obviously, the club, you know, we've got Eric Ten Hag as manager. We've got Benny McCarthy. Mitchell van der Gag, Steve McLaren, Eric Ten Hag was the one that recommended them in. We've got John Murtough, Richard Arnold. Um, earlier on this year, Sir Alex Ferguson came back to Man United in an advisory role. And of course, the Glazers are still at Manchester United. We've got to get the Glazers out of the club because they've been a massive problem at the club for a long time. And for a while, United fans have been protesting against the Glazers. The Glazers have owned the club since 2005. Uh, the other week, it did say that the Glazers had set a price. If they're to consider selling the club and it was £9 billion. well, Sir Jim Ratcliffe came out, didn't he? And he admitted that he would have bought Man United in the summer if the club had been up for sale. Uh, Sir Jim Ratcliffe is a... billionaire. is one of Britain's richest men, or he's Britain's richest man. He's the chairman of Ineos. And don't forget, earlier on this year, it said that Michael Knighton was, you know, interested in buying the club. He's well known for his involvement in Man United and Carlisle. And earlier on this year, Elon Musk joked about buying the club. Didn't he? But um, as you all know, Manchester United have made six signings this year. Um, obviously, we brought Terrell Molassi in, Christine Eriksen, Lissandro Martinez, uh, Casemiro, Anthony and Martin Dubravka. Man United have spent over £200 million this year. Um, obviously, we've let a lot of players go this year as well. Um, obviously, we've loaned players out, we've let players go on free transfers, we've sold players. So the players we've got go, you know, we sold Andres Pereira, we sold James Garner. We loaned Hannibal Meech Bry out, we loaned Ahmad Diallo Triori out, we loaned Ethan Laird out, we loaned Telez out, we loaned Bailly out. <coughs> We loaned Dean Henderson out. We let Lee Grant leave earlier on this year. Uh, we let Matter and Cavani leave on free transfers. We let Jesse Lingard leave on a free transfer as well. So they are a lot of the players that Man United have let go this year. And like I've already mentioned, more players will be departing the club next year. <clears throat> you know, next year... Uh, you know, De Gea could be leaving on a free at the end of the season. You know, David De Gea's future is in doubt. Not so long ago, it's said that Eric Ten Hag was delaying contract decisions on De Gea and Marcus Rashford. De Gea's contract at the club expires next year. There's an option of an additional year. <clears throat> uh, Tellez, I think we'll get rid of him permanently. I think we'll get rid of Bay permanently. Uh, you've got Telez out on loan with Sabine, and you've got Bay out on loan with Marseille. I reckon we'll get rid of Jones and Tuan Zerbe. Uh, Maguire will probably leave next year because he can't get in the team. Since the arrival of Martinez, Maguire's been unable to get in the team, while well, Maguire has been out of injury anyway. Um, Lindelof could be leaving next year. I'm expecting Bissaka to leave next year because he can't get in the team. 
because Diego De Law is Man United's first choice right back. De Law's featured in every game this season, to his credit he's been impressive in a lot of games and Al Man Bissak won't be able to play anyway because he has been out with injury. Hasn't he? Uh, do you think Fred could leave next year? Well, Fred's still starting games, even though Man United brought Eriksen and Casemiro in. You know, Fred has played, you know, quite a few games alongside Casemiro in the centre midfield. Uh, Martial, I reckon Manchester United could sell him next year. Uh, Martial's had quite a few injuries this season, so hasn't featured in a lot of games. Last season, he was out on loan with Sevilla. Uh, Brandon Williams, I'm also expecting Man United to get rid of him because he doesn't get in the team. Last season he was out on loan with Norwich and he's been out with injury for a while. And you know, a good chance Ronaldo will be leaving next year. But there's obviously a lot of players that are going to be staying at the club as well. Um, as you all know, Manchester United have let five managers go since Ferguson. Obviously, after Ferguson, we had Moyes. We sacked Moyes after 10 months. He only endured the short managerial tenure at the club. After Moyes, we had Van Gaal. We sacked him after two years. We did win the FA Cup under him. Um, after Van Gaal, we had Mourinho. We sacked Jose Mourinho after two and a half years. He did enjoy one good season at Man United because he won three trophies in his first season. After Mourinho, of course, we had Solskjaer. We sacked him in November last year. He was Man United manager for almost three years. And after that, we had Rangnick. Uh, was Rangnick left earlier on this year. Rangnick was Man United's interim manager for around five months. And now, obviously, Man United have got Ten Hag. So, Ten Hag is Man United's fifth permanent manager since Sir Alex Ferguson. Um, like I've said, Manchester United were superb under Alex Ferguson and I'm very sceptical that anyone will replicate what he did. You know, Ferguson, greatest manager of all time. He brought success to Manchester United because he won 30-odd trophies, including 13 Premier League titles, but he didn't settle in straight away because he didn't win out in his first four years at Man United. Alex Ferguson was a long-serving manager at Man United. He was the Man United manager for around 26 years. Um, told you the only mistake Ferguson made was recommending David Moyes in when he retired. But the reasons he did that at the time is because they got along and plus they're both Scottish. Fer yeah, Ferguson retired almost 10 years ago. And the last time Man United won the Premier League was back in 2013. So anyway guys, that's everything to update you with. Drop your comments, likes below on the channel. If you do, consider subscribe as always and take care. God bless. See you all again very soon.